of Crimson Lake, so 1P of Crimson Lake and 1P of Scarlet Lake. Okay, they, it's gonna, they're going to kind of look very similar, but we, we want to get it halfway between the, the cool and the warm. And once we've got that, we can put this down really super easy, super quick. You, at this stage, you probably can just kind of take off on your own. Um, but if you want to hang on, there's the, the green is maybe the, the only one that um, you might want to look for how I do it. So I'm going to just go straight in there, pick up some of the uh, that, that white, about the same amount, three quarters of the size of a little pea. And that gives me this kind of a light um, version of, sort of pink version of the my red mixture and once I've got that down the same process of pick, taking the red but adding so let me pick up some of this red put it aside here and then add just a tiny bit of that black remember the black is super intense whoa that just went really dark let's put this down and then see what happens Now my paint here is pretty translucent and that's why it's not as dark as it looked on the palette because the the white is shining through. But let me see if I can get enough layer of paint on top to keep that white from shining through. All right, that should be enough. And the final here. So. Here's the thing. This is the after this, you guys can just uh, you don't even need this rest of this demonstration. But to get the complementary of the red, we of course need green, and green is down here. Okay, that green is over there. And to mix up our green, we're gonna take yellow. Okay, take about one part yellow, and. Let's see, I probably half of that in blue. So let me, the blue is pretty intense. It might need less than half, but let's see what happens here. Let's pick up our little bit of that blue and mix it in with the yellow. And uh, yeah, we'll probably need it's about half, it's a little bit less than half of the, so you've got your ye lemon yellow and then your cobalt blue, you'll need about a little bit less than half amount of cobalt blue to get the right um, hue of green. All right, so I've got a nice big amount of green there. Let me put that green down to begin with and Make sure there's again enough of a layer. And I am almost at the end of this demonstration because the row of green you should be able to do on your own. So here we go. Here's our red. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that green and uh, mix it in to our red. Let me pick up a little bit more to get that. You're getting a... You're, you're getting a gray, so it's it's getting darker, uh, not too much darker in value because our green is pretty light in value, but that gray is really the what is the beautiful um, aspect of these complementary uh, shades. So making a shade using a complementary, and I will reiterate now that once you finish and compare the black shading with the shading that you've done with the complementary, you will find that the, 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 the shading with the complementary has more color in it. It might not seem totally obvious, but the problem with the black is that black takes color away. Okay. Black removes color. Black is the, the, the absence of color. Whereas um, if when, you mix, when you use a complementary to create a darker shade, of a of your color, you're what you're doing is you're you're adding color, 
rather than subtracting color. Okay, if you guys if you want to uh, carry on on your own at this point, you are so welcome to. I am just going to carry, I want to finish this um, and see how it looks, what the final looks like. So I'm mixing up my tint here, okay, getting a nice light version of that yellow, uh, sorry, that green. And once I've got that down, let me go ahead with my black shade as usual. So again, picking up just a tiny bit of the black. And actually, I'm going to pick up my green and transfer it over here. Because I, I may have added too much of the black, but that's all right. Okay, I think I had actually too much water on my brush. I think that's one of the issues when you just keep going. Your so the, the my paint is very loose it's right now, but I it it's fine. Okay, so I've got that black version, and let me get this nice and clean. My my brush here, and this time I'm gonna dry it super nice because. We're starting to get wet to wet the paint. And the final version is green, right? Using the complementary, which would be red. So let me go back and this is my the last bit of that green there. Let me find a, a space here on the palette that's still free. So I'll do it put it here right next to where the um, yeah, and I need the red. So let me pick up some of this red. Uh, let me I'm not sure how much uh, is gonna be needed a little bit more. All right, and we go back in. I may have used too much red. Oh yeah, I can see that. Let me go back in and pick up more of the green and mix that in. So it started to uh, look almost orangish, uh, but go back, pick up, picked up that the green from the original green that I mixed up and bring it. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to take my my rag and just wipe this off because I don't want this to it's way too red and I'm going to I don't want it to mix in with this new mixture that I made. So rub rub that off with my rag and go in with the the adjusted color here. Okay, I, I think I am about done. I could have could have had more paint on, um, could have mixed up more paint there, but that's good enough. All right, so let us just take a real quick look here. And as we see our our original hue, the that it, it, the most intense version of the colors as they come straight out of the tubes. And when we mix in that white, it's what's te uh, technically called a, we creating a tint. They tend to all look pastel-y, right? They're like pastel colors. Um, and uh, compared to turning that these colors darker in value uh, here with black and then here with the complementary. Now you might find that there isn't a big difference between these two, but the what the difference is is that these this row is more gray, or rather it's not gray, it's more, um, it has less color in it because black has taken out some of the color. Whereas here, although it's the same uh, comparative in value, the darkness in value, uh, some of these are more grayer because, um, but the, this last column will tend to be have more color in it because you're adding color to color rather than black to color, if that makes sense. I hope that that was helpful, guys.